Hey guys, so I've got something to show you, something I've bought. Um, it's a 2.2 inch SPI TFT display. I bought it from a company called Cool Components. Uh, they're a British company, but it's an Adafruit display, so uh, you'll be able to get it all over the world, really. Um, it came very well packaged, which I'm quite surprised about. Not because I've bought stuff from the company before, but you just don't often get this level of packaging with, uh, with stuff. So it came in a box and in a, like a bubble wrap bag as well. So I'll be using this box again, I think. Um, inside it's got a bit of paper. I'll tell you how much it cost. I can't really remember. I think it's around 20 pounds. Uh, it was 21 pounds 75. Uh, and it came inside this anti-static bag and wrapped in bubble wrap as well, which is pretty good. So I'll give you a little bit of a close up. So it came in this anti-static bag and wrapped in bubble wrap, so really the packaging is pretty awesome. And it's one of these anti-static bags you can reseal, which is pretty cool. Uh, just open it up. So it came with some header pins, and there is the screen itself. So it's kind of small. I expected it sort of be to be, to be a bit bigger, but that's the, uh, the illusion of the internet, isn't it, I guess? Uh, so it's an Adafruit display, or Adafruit, I'm not sure how you say it, and it's got a micro SD card on the back. Um, you can interact via SPI. Uh, it's also 3.3 volt to 5 volt compatible, so I can use this without any level shifting, because it does it all on board. And it means I can use it with my new DigiX, because that's 3.3 volt, and I can use it with an Uno, so it's pretty awesome, and a lot better than another display that I have. I bought this display on eBay. Let's just get rid of these cables. I bought this display on eBay. Uh, it was very, very cheap. It was about four pounds, uh, and it doesn't work. It uses some weird subset of the ST7355 uh, driver, and uh, unfortunately, it doesn't work with the Adafruit library. It displays weird colors, uh, and in fact, it, it took me a long time just to get anything displayed on there at all, so really it's just useless. Right, so I'll get, I'll get these, uh, these pins soldered on, and then we can try out the display. So I've got the screen wired up, um, I've soldered all the pins on there, and I'm just using some jumper cables to connect it to my DigiX. Uh, the DigiX is connecting, connected via the, to the screen sorry, via the hardware SPI pins. These just come off the top of the board here. Uh, I don't know which pins they're mapped to on these rows, but I'm just using the, the breakout on the top. Uh, we've, got the, we've got the CS and the reset pin there and the DC pin there. And then for the SD card, I've plugged it into, uh, I think that's pin three on, on the Arduino there, on the Arduino, the DigiX. Uh, and I've got some uh, bitmap files loaded onto the SD card underneath here. Uh, I'm just using a 2 gig SD card, so it's formatted to FAT16. Uh, the bitmaps are 24-bit bitmaps. Um, the other ones don't work with the library that's provided by Ad Adafruit. Adafruit. Um, they have a, a library for this display, which um, is running the ILI9340 driver. That's the chipset on the board. Um, it's got four backlights in the corner of the screen and they can be uh, dimmed via PWM. Uh, and the micro SD card on the back will read 32 bit, uh, sorry, will read FAT32 and FAT16. So that's quite important. Right, let's plug it in so you can have a look at the quality of the display. So immediately it loads up. It's running on SPI, so it's pretty quick and it's bringing up. Uh, a bit map, bit map of some monster munch there. Let's see if I can stop that being. There we go. Let's focus that for you. So I've just put a few bitmaps on here so you can see. There's the uh, the cool components logo. That's the company I bought it from. Uh, and that's the update speed there. So it doesn't take very long to load a full bitmap. Uh, there are buffer settings in the uh, in the library that you can mess around with to try and make it load faster but mine's currently on 80 pixels buffer which is about as high as you can go 
Uh, but it's a really beautiful display. I've still got the little plastic cover on there, so it's probably not as beautiful as it could be. But it's, it's really, really nice. Uh, it's going to be used in one of my projects for a radio that I'm building. Not a DAB radio, but a standard one using a, I think it's a T5676 uh, radio, FM radio. It's a lovely little display. You can use it on the hardware SPI pins, or you can also use it with um, software-driven SPI pins. So you can just assign any pin you like to it, really. Uh, it's a great display. It's, uh, it's pretty cheap, 20 quid, uh, 320 by 240 pixels. Uh, and I think it's worth getting. Uh, it's the cheapest one that I could find in the UK that was Adafruit. So it's, it's a worthwhile look. All right, thanks guys.